Oh man, I got the chills from that. Dang, old PS1, you always know how to give me all the willies. Hey, welcome back to Overlord Arcade. I'm Ben. Today I finally get to tackle Metal Gear Solid. Oh man, I've been wanting to do this for a minute. Um, I'm gonna pop past that little opening cutscene because... Wait, what? Oh, did I just double click? Hold on. Yeah, okay, boom. Uh, you know, screw it. We're just gonna do normal for kicks. And, uh, dude, I'm excited! This is like... This is kind of like one of my favorite games I've ever played. Hi, Dave. Um, however, like I did, I've kind of implied we are going to be doing big boy episodes for this one because I can't fit Metal Gear Solid into 20 minute segments. So these are going to be hour long. We're going to get through this bad boy. We're going to be sneaky boys. And it's snowing, and if if I know my video game logic, that means it's Christmas. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bombers and flies. Be really funny if he just literally meant that he has a couple of there's like a gnat problem in his office. He's actually going up there. He's gonna be like, "There's my fly swatter." Come here, you little bugger! Got him! Yeah, there we go. That'll do nicely. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Ah, I wasn't expecting you. Sorry, I was making frittatas. Just as I expected. It took a little bit. It took a minute. Take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the <laughs> Hold codec, on, wait a minute. Let me, uh, let me write that one down when in my notebook. to contact you, the codec will beep. I've got an address book over noise, here. Press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Colonel, it sounds like dip dang magic. Anyway, let me, uh. There we go. I've got it all written down in my little address book. I've got a flower on it and a bee. I think it's pretty snazzy. What do you think? <laughs> what do you mean I shouldn't have brought an address book? Strip search? No, I carried it in my stomach. Just like everything else I snuck aboard that I shouldn't have. What was that noise? What indeed? Hmm. I'll be honest, I kind of feel like whatever that noise was, you probably should have already immediately radioed something in. Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. Then you got it, buddy. Also, you will have to forgive me. Yes, I will be doing a terrible David Hater, only because I can't help myself. Uh, oh, right, there's no button. I literally do just wait. Wait a minute, if there's no button, how does it know to go back up when I get on it? It's a freight elevator. It's for cargo. It doesn't just randomly pop up for no reason. Is there somebody up there with a big button? I'll be like, you who boys. Doop -a -doop -a -doo -doo. Yeah, I gotta wait a little bit for this one. Do a little calisthenics. There we go. There we go. Make sure the old knees are gonna keep up on me. He hasn't slowed me down one bit. Uh, I think I'm already full up on. Yep, I can't use any more rations, so I don't need that over there. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Nope, okay, just waiting down here still. Good thing I brought a Game Boy. See, there's this wiener. 
Oh shit, I didn't expect that. Are you kidding me? Really? I start off already in alert mode? That's... crap. I'm supposed to be good at this game. Now I look like a big weenie. Apologize, or apologies for immediately being crap at Metal Gear. The game I'm not supposed to be crap at. What? Why did he turn? Oh, fuck. I swear I'm not usually this bad at this game. I heard something. Motherfucker, how is this going so badly? How is this going so badly? Supposed to be the good guy at this one. I'm Mr. Metal Gear. I do the games with the things. Oh, I have to run all the way back. Okay, fine. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. I can't even get on the elevator at the beginning. Come on. Why did he turn? He's not one to turn. Whatever, it's fine. Just do it the safe way. Huh? What was that noise? Never mind. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, come on. Remember that joke about you guys all being blind and stupid? Let's go back to that world. Let's go back to the world real blind and dumb. That'll have to do. Okay. Also, ignore the big flashing lights. You know, and alarms and sirens and all that jazz. I can't believe that took me seven minutes. That normally, like... Minute and a half goal. Oh, that's embarrassing. Well, welcome to the kind of playthrough we're gonna be doing. The game, the the kind of playthrough where if something is gonna go wrong, well, it probably is. Unbelievable. Directed by Hideo Kojima. Metal Gear Solid. Solid Snake fucked up again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. Fingers crossed that that's the end of the fuck uppery. Although, let's face it, it's not. And I'm pretty sure you all don't want it to be. This thing's taking a minute. I was getting ready to bust out a deck of cards and play solitaire. Holy freezing nipples, it's cold out here. I was better off in the water. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. <laughs> oh, you must have, uh... I'm nice and must have missed all that hard dicking around I did down there, then. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy, I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. Hey, whatever you want to call it. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. You know what's funny? I actually remember very specifically that... That air... Because I played Metal Gear Solid... 
and I knew the name Galena Air Force Base. ID. That is the one reason in a, uh, in a junior high here. science class I, I was no able idea. to identify that, like, mineral. Was it a mineral or was it, unnoticed. or was it technically a crystal? I can't remember. This is not a good way to explain how I was able to remember something so flawlessly. But I was able, that was, that was the one reason I was able to remember Galena. I think it was the somewhat silvery kind of metal? I remember it wasn't fluoride, because fluoride looked like a D8. Like an eight, it looked like an eight-sided dice. Um, I, if for some reason it just, f like, would break fractally that way, which I thought was kind of neat. Left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? God, you're running oh, a clubhouse sorry. over there, Colonel? I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. Your best she friends was club? To us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. You know, I also don't really understand one thing. What's wrong? There's no possible Nothing. way they can see I each other. A world class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. I'm guessing no, I know because I, won't be bored for the I, mean, I didn't bring hours. like a smartwatch. Come on. All I can hear is your voice. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. Well, I like but long first, walks on the beach. Explain about your Although I'm not a fan system. of pina coladas. I don't care the for them. The dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies. Although, boy, getting caught in the rain, that's my ideal way to spend a Wednesday. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. <laughs> be sure you don't let them see you. Sorry, I just I want you to that line is and look for the DARPA chief. So the DARPA chief was it does not GPS line up with the standard genome soldier it jokes. Appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever they have special can senses of hearing and sight. If he's alive, that is. When they have in their contacts and hearing aids. Or apparently just when you want to look Snake good and get on an elevator. But if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar. <laughs> yeah, so you, the radar, I built it out of an old soup can and some change. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge I'm of your good. mission data. I think I should be Contact fine. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. Hold on, it's let me get out my book. For saving data. Don't forget it. Okay, and Remember, got it. For your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doc. That's an HR problem, sorry Snake. To you, but I did manage to smuggle Don't you be sexually dogs. harassing How the help. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? They're you never tasty. Know. <laughs> Again, there's a lot you need to know about train killers. When you put a guy down, you, you gotta to take a sweet the front puff. Door. It's the fastest way. Nothing helps you with the calm down like a lucky strike. Enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. Hmm. Again, I don't care for pina coladas, so the pineapple element is taking me out. What about the air duct near the door? I can see a guy's leg, so floor. probably not that way, huh? I can't see it from here. Ah, well. 
Snake, I'm I'll sure there's a way in. Why not? Way. Just, you know. I'm counting on you, Snake. We're just going to assume there's a way in. Hey, luck. This guy don't give me no trouble. Oh, never mind. Luck not necessary. Trouble avoided. Surveillance camera? Thanks! That was really helpful stopping me right in the middle of what I was doing for that. Boop, 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 boop. I can't believe you can miss that gun altogether. I think it, I think it gives you one later, just as kind of like a handout. But yeah, you can absolutely just whiff that. Uh, I'm gonna want some. I'm gonna want some. Damn it! I'm gonna want some. Some chiffity chaffity grenadles. Uh, yeah. Oh, we don't have any crap. That's right. I actually need to get the chaff grenades. Um, nah. You know what? I'm fine. Maybe I don't need chaff grenades. Also, I like the idea that chaff grenades are exploding grenades filled with fragments of, like, I don't know, like, it, they're just filled with garbage that fucks up, like, mechanical stuff. It's still a grenade that explodes, and yet that grenade, silent as the dickens. Stun grenades and regular grenades, oh boy, you betcha. Those will bring the, those will bring the cavalry home. Chaff grenades, just a fart in the wind. Would you move, Larry? Get your ass in gear. Yeah, I know. Alright, I'm not gonna take every phone call that comes in. They can stimulate the bones of my ears all they want. I know how to get into an air vent. Doop a doop a doop doo doo. Doop doop doop. I am so good at sneaking. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what do Why you Why do you know my phone I number? I being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a fox. All right, so wait a minute. How many people are in this tiny nuclear submarine scooting around in the Alaskan Ocean? So call me if you have any questions about the flora or. As far as I know, you're not home. My frequency is one four one point eight zero. Oh wait, no, he's not on the sub. I do know that. How did you even get this number? Explain yourself, Miller. Also, I... That's one thing that always kind of bugs me a little bit. Is that... In this game, he's referred to as McDonald Miller. And in all of like, the later Metal Gears that have... Miller in them, it, he's Kazuhira Miller. About to start spraying for rats. Did he change his name? Or is it this... Or is it just not the same Miller? Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. How lewd! He's killed three people? Oh. Yeah. No, I haven't. Say he's using stealth, too. Hey! Stealth? Well, I mean, intruders have to use stealth. There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. I think one time I played this game and I do remember having I did have the stealth camo at the time and I think I had killed like three guards and it blew my mind because I thought they were talking about me and I'm like dang this game got really impressive for a second there if they can remember exactly how many guards I've taken out and what items I've used along the way there's an intruder an intruder yeah, they say he's got like a wicked cool bandana, but he hasn't killed anyone. He's just showing off then. I wouldn't worry about it. Seems like a toss pot to me. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad he hasn't killed anyone. That would really fuck up poker nights. All right. Am I meant to assume that we're all best friends and we know each other? Do, do, do. Okay, I definitely want to grab this early because these doors are open and they won't be open later. I want to say this is the mind detector or mm, uh, thermal goggles. Yeah, thermals. All right, we're good. Hoo hoo! I have done runs of this where I skip those, and those are helpful. Very helpful. Here we go. Uh, okay, what am I doing first? Right, Darpa Chief. Uh, ah, jeez. Okay. Would you all get a hobby? Something to help you kill the time. Darn tootin'. <laughs> wow, Snake. It's almost like you know the base by instinct. Yeah, I'm just... Six cents. Six cents, we'll go with that. Yeah, you can see the... Hi. You alright there, buddy? Coming to get you. Alright, you sit put. Again, sorry to not, to not drink in to every phone call. But, I mean, I think we can all agree I should try to get through this with some level of, I don't know, efficiency and speed. This is Metal Gear Solid. We are going to... Now, that, the only thing that bugs me is that does mean that I'll, like, miss out on some of the dialogues for boss fights. I... I don't know. I, like, I don't want to. Where's Poopin' Johnny? There's specifically a special cutscene for just him pooping. Is it this one? There he is. Ugh, oh, kinda damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Anyway, enough of me pooping with my jumpsuit on. Ah, uh, yeah, filling it up with warm soil. <laughs> What was that in the vents? No, nothing. Just go about shedding your pants. Woof. Don't tell me they can't render a genome soldier's bare ass. They do it. Not me. Yes, yes, yes. I think we all know the gist, Mei Ling, or Colonel, or whoever's, whoever's buzzing me on my pager. Who, who, who's that? Hold on, give me a minute. This thing's snug. There we go. Hi. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? Uh, I'm the pawn they sent Louis here to Vuitton. Save worthless butt. It's, uh, the pants are by Calvin Klein. Really? It's true. I'll be honest, it's not comfortable, but it's fashionable. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. <laughs> don't worry. Slow your old First, buddy. I want some information. You and me are gonna have terrorists. a chat. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? Well, I go by Snake. That's my code name. They... The next mission, they might give me Sweet Jesus. Who knows? Oh, man. That would, I would love to play a Metal Gear game where my main character is named Sweet Jesus. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. 
That's Foxhound's secret operative, Sweet Jesus. <laughs> what does he do? We have no idea. He refuses to use a gun. He's all about parables. A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Hold on, I'm thinking of the name. Metal Gear. Oh, wait, you got it? Okay. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? And why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? Scenery! It's got the draw distance of Silent Hill. The project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise. Also, um, and then so to yeah, Elephant in the Room. This is like when it came out. This was considered the third mainline Metal Gear game. I have a bitch of a time with the other two, so I'm just starting here. I don't know if people care if I fill them in on backstory. I didn't play through Metal Gear 2 until very recently. So, like, the story is a little foggy, sort of. The game will wash over. It'll, like... It'll kind of slap pain over a lot of the details. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Easy there, fudgy pants. Again, I watched you. That smell? I, I can explain that if you'd like. No, I don't care. Safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean pal? Yeah, yes, your pal course, guy. There is a pal. It's set up so that you need to input. Mm -hmm. two I'm not your guy, friend. In order to launch the device. I'm not your friend, there buddy. Are two passwords. Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. Why do you know that? That's right. But yes. <laughs> Each of us needs to input. It's not like a It's not public information. How do you know he's the president? But they found out my password. You talked. You wiener. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis. All I'm hearing is you're a loser that can't keep your mind on the job. One of the job. members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. Thinking about butts, huh? Everybody's always thinking about butts. If they find out Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? Oi, woof. The system developers as an emergency override. Yeah, card Even keys. The passwords, you can just that sounds the ominous. And engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should yeah. have them. I don't know. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay. Three card keys. All right. Three card keys, one giant pain in the ass. Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor. You know basement. what? Let's be uh, let's be I optimistic. Maybe it won't come to card keys, huh? How about that? Of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here. Take this. It's my ID card. Well, I don't look like you. Any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your Does body. Does it ever insult you that the that a DARPA chief only had level one security? Read the data stored in the card, and the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Did they even let you use the bathroom okay. while you were here, buddy? I'm gonna get you out of here. This Where is the first toilet I've it? seen, and you don't really have a lot you of clearance. Haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Huh. 
Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists' demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Oh, there. Slow down, Scooter. Hey, buddy, you doing okay? What happened? No, hey, hey, no hugging. Nobody said I'd have to deal with huggers. I am not into snuggles. Huh. Dead. Well, dip damn. Maybe I should have hugged him. Naomi, the chief, what happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? <sighs> no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Always, Snake. You've got to understand. I wouldn't be the Colonel if I was being actually honest with you. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I yeah. told you. Yeah, that sounds about right. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. I wanna. President Baker sounds like a nerd. Which way do I have to do? There's one of these where you, you there's an angle you can get where you can perfectly see exactly what's going on where is it there it is hello look I'm not gonna lie you don't have to jump on me I can see you Ugh, I gotta fall for it. I hate that you have to fall for it cuz like you know you're some unstoppable badass secret diddle pants okay let's get made let's look like an idiot My spidey senses! I mean, nanomachines. They didn't tell me anything. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Yep. I mean, did I? Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! W what if I dance? What are you gonna do, shoot me? Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> I was gonna say, if imagine if Meryl just shoots. Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. And immediately, yeah, like scared look in your eyes. She's like, don't you move, you shimmy shammy. She shoots, you get a game over. Snake, she said, don't move. What are you doing? I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? Nah. So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Damn it. One short. What are you waiting for? Shoot. That was a bullet like late a and a ration short. I'm telling you, shoot. There you go. You can do it. You did some shooting. Nailed it. Yeah, I was gonna say, Meryl, you wanna fucking pull the trigger once? Jeez. Oh, right. Damn it. Oh, this is cake with a bandana on. Could just keep going full ham on that. No, now I gotta reload like a mortal. Thanks for the help. You got it. Wait. Wait, whoa, hey, hold up now. Who are you? 
If I have more questions, do I just call great ass? You fool! You've killed him! Like an ad from a, an adult magazine? For top quality butt! Call Meryl! Now we'll never get that detonation code! Boss, I have a good idea. Holy damn it, an ass so good it gave me a hallucination. Now I've got to find her. Maybe she has a bandana. She didn't even have to reload that whole time. Dip dam. You know, to this day, I still don't know how to feel about Psychomantis. Hey, I just had some kind of hallucination. I like him. The nano machines? No, but he stands no, out really properly. weird in so this game. It? it must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Everybody else is pretty grounded. And then there's the floating psychic boy. I don't have a huge problem with it, but it's weird to say the least. To the like I think that's why Metal Gear Solid 1 is like my favorite in the series because it's kind of grounded. It almost feels like it could happen, because nothing in it's that, I don't know, wonky pants. But at the same time, a ton about it is wonky pants. But only if you, like, squint at it. Uh, I have card one. Where else can I open and then there's Psychomantis, the dude who floats and throws crap at you with his mind and can read your thoughts. Like, whatever, I'm not complaining. He's a cool character. I like him. But he's weird. I don't know if I can... If I can fully articulate while I'm playing, because, like, I need my brain. But, it... Um, I have a weird perception of Metal Gear in my own mind. In my brain, it's less bonkers supernatural junk and more, like, almost somewhat serious. I know that's not the case. Hello. I'll be right in there soon soon, big turtle man. But, like... Hmm. He's the only one that doesn't have a technical... Like, a technological explanation for what he does. This is elaborate. Did you get caught by Spider-Man or something? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Hmm. Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. Oh, I've been a bad boy and I've been I'm being punished. Right. Touch that wire and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. And you, right? So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. Why are you so close to this much C4? Special operations, Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Do you have to do that right now? Very distracting. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. I mean, it's cool, but it's debatable on the greatest. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. You just waste six, five bullets? Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. 
It's because you're good at hand to hand, right? Draw. Oh, hey, well, I thought we were chatting. Oh crap, I shouldn't have grabbed that. Alright. Do a little trick and I'm gonna run and gun. Alright, that ain't working out. I love to reload doing a battle. There's nothing like the feeling of slamming all the same words into a well reached chain. Gotcha! Let's go. Got you, bitch. Hey, <laughs> You better hurry up. What are you going to do about it? You're reloading. Got you. No. Nope. Shit! Ah, I got too close. Damn it! You idiot! Why did you do that? Why did you let me? What if I did? Like, have you thought about your own plan at all? You're a gambling son of a bitch. All right, so okay, don't gamble the one box of ammo I need. Hiding won't help. Not hiding. Come on. You gotta shoot at me eventually. I love to reload. There we go. All right, I'm alive. Let's go. I almost did the same shit. God damn it! Cut that shit out. Uh, he's fine, don't... don't you want to settle this? God damn it, I'm shooting and it's like not hitting him. Being a real dork about this, you know that? I love the smell of corn. That sulfury smell. <clears throat> but to you, it'll be the smell of your own. Crap, I'm running out of bullets. You know what I never thought to do this whole time? Ow. Son of a bitch! Oh, son of a bitch! That's why I never thought to do it, it's stupid! Again, your plan, not mine. Oh my god, I can't believe how bad I'm doing at this. I swear, if you... You can play a game, like, flawlessly your entire life. The minute you want to record it, you suck dick at it! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I, I will never get amazing skill at any game I record. It just will not happen. Hiding won't help not hiding. Shut up. Fine, I'll just play it safe. I love to reload during a battle. There's nothing like the feeling of slamming. Oh, so. Alright. Alive. Let's go. 
All right, you're getting weirdly sexual about the gun reloading. Let's tone down on that. There you go. We're getting it. We're playing smart now. Damn it, there's one point where you could just unload on him. Like, we can put a full clip in if you, like, time it right. I love the smell of cordon. You know, it's so but <clears throat> Oh, shit. Alright, well, I gotta, I gotta play risky on this one now. Okay, got it. All right, I played, I went fast and loose. It's my fault, I tried to play fun. You fuck. I kinda hate that you can just run out of ammo in this fight. There we go, now we got him. Now we're good. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. You're okay, but you seem to have no qualms about blowing up the old man. You fucking lunatic. What? My hand. Okay, so when I do it, it's not okay. When Flippy Katana Magoo gives it a shot, it's fine. I'm not leaving my hand behind. Who are you? That's gonna fetch a sweet price. I like you. I am okay. I'm gonna sell this on eBay. That that exoskeleton. Uh oh. You said his trigger word, Baker. I'm tripping fucking balls. What was that? Wanna run that one by me? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. Oh, he's senile. What about your code? There's no around time. in him. I... This old stallion ain't gonna race again. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Where do I get Everyone some? Knows these tough They'll sound dope. Gadget. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. Yep, in that loud case, and clear, right before that heart attack. I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. Hey, he falls know, apart like, an, like a Lego man. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh, you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Hey, hey. Calm down. It fucking hurts. You. I just told you I, I was have a lot of walking to do today. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, okay, the terrorists have both codes anyway. now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Except they have Who now. Knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys. Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? 
Who does then? Not the terrorists. No. That no, I gave them to Eddie, the, the intern. The soldier that was thrown in prison. Who's gonna get me a coffee? But soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined. Yeah, I never new got recruit. it. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit. Anyway, he said he'd take them to my car. I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. Why but how did, did you, know you give escaped? Meryl the key? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Oh, you old idiot. <clears throat> Again. Senile. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, okay. is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? That? Mmm, that shit. You need there, to find how I was so employees. confused as a kid when he said it, the frequency's on the back of the CD case. I didn't realize he meant it's on the back of the actual game box. I thought there was an item that was a CD that I was supposed to look at, and it would be in the description, like in my item list. That took me a really long time. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? Then they come up with the problem. Get this. If you are playing this game digitally nowadays, you don't have a CD case. So if you don't remember exactly what that code is, you'd have to like look it up. If I remember correctly, it's 180.15. Nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see, because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. <sighs> Actually, what's a report on this stuff? That is true. The nuclear waste that we have is not being handled super great. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear Slight bummer, but hey, we're gonna keep it loosey goosey. We're not gonna. Let's let's talk more about that material out of Canafor. Let's talk about muff, Baker. We're gonna we're gonna guy get a little muff around here. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Well, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. And that weapon is... You mean Metal Gear. A Tickle Me Elmo. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. Well, have that one pan out there, Metal buddy. Gear developed as a black project. Black I project. bet building a jet wouldn't have caused you to get an arm broken. The Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape. Microwave like a Thanksgiving roast. Production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, yeah, maybe yeah, it's going to be a sweet new Porsche. After the results of this exercise were analyzed, I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, hey, this is what you came for. That was right? uncalled for. What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? Yoink! All the data you collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. 
to your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all Who's this gym now? Two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was so you're really grilling me over here, okay? Dark little secret. An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> Do you not see me coughing up smoke? No. But you go skedaddle doodle. You should mm. ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. No, oh, what, what a coincidence. I've got her on my Naomi. phone right now. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. <coughs> what? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Oh, dang it! What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went in. It. What are you talking want to, uh, about? Want to run that one by me real fast? Quick before you. Alright. I'm not going to lie. That wasn't uh, that wasn't the most helpful thing you could have said. I'm a little in the dark. What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. Well, a snake. I mean, look at him. He's got a broken arm. Cooked his fucking lungs. Some kind of was right next to C4 going off. The guy's like 60. In large doses, for example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn, Snake. I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her more than you can trust me? That's a low bar. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. All right, what Snake, if you like? Get a hold of showed yourself. me how to do burst Naomi, transmission. What the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. There we go, that's why I brought my cigarettes. Get a little puff a duff doof. Get a little, get a little bit, do a little something full of yum in the tummy. I love that your, that your maximum ammo goes up the more you play. That, like, that one boss fight might be the one I consider to be, like, might be the one I consider to be the hardest. Because it's the only one where you have to do, like, pretty critical, uh... Resource management. Because there's a limited, there's a finite amount of ammo in that fight. So you can absolutely dick yourself over. There we go, got card number two. Now I have a machine gun. Hull, hull, hull. Told you this was gonna be a Christmas episode. What's more in the spirit of Christmas than freaking Die Hard? Interesting question for anybody watching. Do you consider Die Hard a Christmas movie? I've heard both. I've heard I've heard yes and I've heard no. For my money, I. I sort of consider a Christmas movie to be a movie that only works when it takes place at Christmas. Now, I understand that um, Metal Gear... No, not Metal Gear. I understand Die Hard does take place at Christmas, but would the movie still work if it was not Christmas? Like, you just have to come up with any other reason why he's at, he's at his wife's company's party. Um, oh crap, we're actually, that's actually an episode. So I'll tell you what, um, starting tomorrow we will go more into, I guess, Die Hard and Christmas parties. Oh, I never noticed that little foreshadowing, that tank is gone. 
That's snazzy. Good job, guys. Um, let me run in here. Let me get a mind detector real fast. No, wait. There. I want that SOCOM suppressor. Wait, what? Do I not have to manually put it on? Oh, I already have it on. All right, cool. There you go. I've suited up, and I'm ready for fun. Got my suppressor on. I'll catch everybody tomorrow. We'll go have more fun. We'll do more Metal Gear action-y. Action junk. All right, see everybody then. Bye.